Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to How to Train Your Gavin. In Happy Pride, and to celebrate Pride, I will be doing something I've never ever done before. And that is rearrange my bookshelves in a rainbow format. Even saying it out loud hurts. Because I'm the kind of person who absolutely loves my bookshelves to be organised by author surname, alphabetical. But also within that, I like to have it in height order. <laughs> and also before that, I like to have hardbacks first and then paperbacks. I'm gonna ignore all the rules in this video and make a rainbow. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be lovely. I'm sure it's gonna look incredible, but I'll still feel like I've been kicked in the dick. I'm nervous, I'm, I'm scared, scared for my life, but it's just what I wanna do today because I thought, why the fuck not? So yeah, as I've said, I've never done this before. So what I think when I end up having to do is, I'm just gonna do the middle grade shelves over here and I do have some YA and adult shelves over there too, but it's very, very packed. It's not gonna look good either way. And also, I don't think they're as colourful as the middle grades. So what I'm gonna do first is I will take all of the books from the middle grade shelf and put them on the floor. I will try and organise them by colour on the spine. So then I can just put them straight back onto the shelf in order. I don't know what kind of colour order it should go in. Like, what kind of gradient should I do? is the question as well. I'm not unprepared for this. I am only now researching what I need to do. Rainbow shelf, how to. Decide on colour organisation. It's very normal to say that, but can somebody decide for me? I think it'll probably depend actually on just like how it ends up looking when I put them back on the shelves. So I will do that. I have around about like a thousand books there, around about that, you know, that's a rough estimate. It's a little bit awkward because I do have all my hardbacks at the top and then I have like some of my favourite series and they're like the next two shelves. So I'm going to have to really change it all up. Oh my god. And I'm going to have to split up sequels. I've never ever split up a series before. And that's going to like really mess me up I think. I can't do this without music. So, so let's put on some Lady Gaga and gayify my shelves. Doesn't matter if you love him or capital H-I-M. Pause for just a second. What do I do about books that are like two colours? Like that, I would say, is both like a purple and yellow, orange. What am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do now? I'm also starting to realise that I might have to split even the colours up, so I will probably have to do some piles of like dark blue, light blue. As I'm saying that out loud, it's obvious. And I feel like a lot of people already do that when they do rainbow shelves, so... At least I've come to that conclusion before getting too deep into the reorganisation, okay? little update right now i have done the top two shelves and i sorted them into piles so we've got the dark blue light blue dark green light green blacks um purples yellows oranges whites and grays pinks <laughs> reds and browns i'm already regretting my decisions because i already know that as soon as july 1st hits the rainbow will be gone, you know? I want to be like all of those corporations out there and go back to business as usual. And can you imagine me trying to put all of it back in size order, alphabetical order, hardbacks, paperbacks, all of that once it's done? It's very daunting if you ask me. So yeah, at least I've done the first two shelves. It looks so bad, but progress is being made and it's getting later. It's taken half the Mamma Mia soundtrack to do the first two shelves just to put them on the floor. So, well, guys, my neck, back, pussy, and crack are killing me. So, I'm currently standing on a pile of books right now, which is not safe. But uh, it's the only way I can get in front of the camera. I have put all of these books into piles. I have a whole load of spines with blue on. So I kind of figured that would happen. But um, I actually surprisingly have quite a lot of purples as well as oranges and reds too. 
Not a whole lot of pink and yellow. Green, I actually do have quite a lot of as well. Got a lot of dogs. So I feel like I should be okay in terms of like balance of how many, well, like kind of like the ratio of colors. So now I think I'm gonna try and set it out. I will probably put the dark colors on this side, move my way along, maybe have some more dark colors on that side too, like bookmark the shelves with dark colors on either side then have the light colors in the middle. How does that sound? But yeah, I thought I would enjoy this more. I'm not 100% sure how people do it and how they put them back on the shelves and how they start off the process. So I'm just gonna do me. How do I start? Like you don't put them in any order, right? Other than color. Like within the colors, you don't put them in alphabetical order, right? You can just put them on the shelves. Because you're not gonna be able to find anything anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna put them back on the shelves. should have done I should have put the red on first so it goes purple pink red orange yellow white that's what I should have done so let's uh, move the orange I mean if you ask me it's looking pretty shit so far it's looking pretty shit so far if you ask me but I digress let's just continue because I keep messing it up Well, that's all my books and I've still got like a lot of space there. That's looking shit. That is looking shit. Um, I have a feeling that would probably look better. And then, oh God. This is the thing with rainbow shelves. You can't really put trinkets on there because it just wouldn't look as good, I don't think. Let's see if I put that on there. It's already looking shit. What am I supposed to do with that? Because if I start doing face outs, it will move the colors. Oh my God. Uh, I might move everything kind of along so that the gaps are like there on the, in this shelf here, rather than in the bit that you can see. What we're thinking. Can't, oh, I can't because I've done it like that. So if I move them along, that'll flatten them, if you know what I mean. Oh my God. I did not think this one through. I know, I'll just film in like this bit. Yes, we can't actually see the gap. 
But I mean, what do you think generally? I mean, it's kind of rainbow, isn't it? It's like, you can kind of tell, right? You, you can... I'm going to have to put all this back. Maybe not right now, but all of this is jumbled now. All the series are in the wrong order. All the authors aren't in alphabetical order. You know, I'm just going to move you. Yeah. I mean, that looks pretty decent, but... Oh, God, I still wouldn't recommend. At least I gave it a try, I guess. I could probably just film here, right? And then you won't be able to see the glaring gaps there. Yeah, that's totally fine. I mean, as much as I love the look of rainbow shelves on other people's shelves, as you can see, it doesn't quite live up to it on my shelves. I don't know why. I mean, I'm very gay, so why this hasn't worked is anyone's guess. I am absolutely sweating. That's taken a lot longer than it should have. But yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if you have rainbow shelves, what you think of mine. <laughs> I promise I won't take any offense. Thank you so much to my patrons for being incredible people. I have a link to my Patreon as well as all my social media links down in the description box. So don't forget to check me out on any of those if you want to. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.